All right, preparing to live stream. Okay, it says we're live, woohoo. Okay, we're just gonna launch into this. I, I'm not hearing the same feedback, so hallelujah. Happy day. Welcome, welcome for those of you that are watching live with us. And for those of you that are watching the replay, please feel free to participate and, and get your takeaways and say hello, tell us where you're from. We are here with Dr. Tim today. And I just want you to know that uh, he doesn't have a lot of time with us. He's one busy guy for a reason. But what's crazy is when I asked Louise to kind of fill me in on his bio, which she did, I was like, I looked at the bio she sent me and I was like, Dr. Tim, this bio alone would take 15 minutes to read and you only have this much time with us today. So just some just some highlights. He is a chiropractor. He actually has a, a practice with his wife, but it says he's a max living doctor and he's a magna cum laude graduate of Life Chiropractic College where he specialized in spinal, spinal correction, extremity management, neuromuscular education, nutrition, and neurology. Phew. Um, highly trained in delivering the five essentials of health. He's an author and he even helps with the, um, he's on the performance council and the official chiropractic and performance team for USA weightlifting, judo, wrestling, martial arts. It's unbelievable. Okay. I just share that because sometimes people are like, why should I listen to this guy? And there is a gazillion reasons why we should listen to you. But today uh, specifically, Dr. Tim has come to talk to us about kind of micro clustering and how that, why that matters. First of all, what people can learn from it and how it helps our our bodies in, especially in reference today for this water workshop in um kangan so first of all thank you so much for your time and being yeah, here thanks for having me um if you want to fire away in your wisdom absolutely well just as a foundation for why i'm getting on this call here i've personally been using the kangan water myself for our family for over eight years now and it's been huge. You know, water is one of the most important essentials of living healthy. And most people honestly are dehydrated and are getting more toxins and stress in their water where it's actually creating more harm than good. So this is really a key component to getting and staying well in a natural way, which is really what we're all about. Uh, our foundation is empowering families to live a healthy life naturally. And so the more you can learn about how to take care of yourself, prevent health issues, naturally help your body heal on its own, the less you're going to have need for medications, medical interventions, the less health issues you're going to have overall. And when stuff comes up, your resiliency, your ability to adapt is just going to be so much stronger. So when we get into the science behind the water, there's a couple of things I just want to help go through and clear up today. Because a lot of people don't really understand what microclustering really is. There's a few different theories on there about, well, it makes it smaller or it changes the molecular shape or how the water works. And some of those things are true, but some of them aren't. And without getting too much into organic chemistry and things like that and confusing people where your brain just shuts off and you stop paying attention, I want to try to help you understand among the many benefits of conger watering, how microclustering really works. So when we look at water itself, the, the water molecule, they'll tend to cluster together. And so if you have tap water, for example, you'll get clusters of maybe 15 to 20 altogether. So just as a visual, I'm just going to draw that together. Let's say we had a, a bunch of these together. So something that looks something like this, right? We have a bunch of them. They're all clustered together right now. Your cells, your cells have these little areas where water can go into the cell. Now there's two ways that this happens. It happens through osmosis in your body where water travels in, toxins travel out. This is just a normal process. Now, when you drink water, this is the primary form of hydration. This is different. So they have these, these aqua points on your cells where water actually goes in and they're rather small. So trying to get this into this doesn't work very well. So you ever had water where you drink the water and you feel bloated? You feel like it's swishing around in your stomach. I know I've had that feeling, right? And a lot of people get this and they don't like water. They feel like, well, it doesn't make me feel good when I drink water. It gives me that bloated feeling. Well, this is why, because you're dehydrated, you have a high need for hydration and water. So you drink a bunch, but because of this massive clustering, well, it's not actually able to get into the cell. So although you're drinking water, it's just sitting there. It's not hydrating you. So you're still dehydrated and you're not getting the benefits of that. Also, this type of clustering is very low energy. So one of the things they talk about with Kangen water is the charge, right? The negative ORP. So this is a high energy. 
And so what happens is when you use this ionization that comes from the electrical charge, you're actually changing what happens. So a lot of these have a very low energy. So when you use the ionization of the water to change the charge, well, now what's happening is you increase the energy. So these start to separate. Now we're maybe one or two. And there's a couple that are existing in this area. So now we can get these individual ones that have a better charge to get into the cell. So now we're getting better hydration that's going on overall. So that's one of the main things that I notice when I drink the Kangen water is that you can drink a whole glass or two and feel really good. In fact, a lot of times you're gonna notice a boost in energy because within 60 seconds, you're already getting hydration to the brain. Your body's like 90%, 96% or so water. And that includes your brain. That includes the joints of your body. That's why when you drink it, people have less inflammation and they feel better overall. They feel like they're more clear, right? That's because you're getting better hydration. Also what happens because of this higher energy and the more absorption of the water, you're actually getting more hydrogen that's coming off from the cells, which your body uses for energy in different areas. So that's kind of the, the simple version of microclustering without getting into the in-depth of organic chemistry. But basically what's happening is you're making it in a more absorbable form. So the hydration can actually get into the cell, which is really cool. And you're not gonna get this from a bottled water. You're certainly not gonna get this from your tap water or from your refrigerator because it requires that energy, which comes from the panels in the water machine and the ionization that charges the water. And this doesn't last for a long time depending on the machine that you get and the power that's in there, the more plates you have in each machine, the higher concentration you're going to get of this ionization in your energy and the longer it'll last. So I'm not as good of knowing how long it lasts, but on average, it's what, like one to three days or so, depending on what machine you have. If you have the higher machine, it lasts longer. That's why it's so important to have the machine because you can get this water today, but in a week from now, you're not going to be getting the same benefits. It's the best right when it comes out which is why we, we love having the machine at home. And we use it for ourselves, we use it for our pets and we see the benefits. And I notice when I'm not doing it, right? And you just get the regular water, just the difference in the hydration and everything else that goes along with it. So that's one of the main reasons I really love this technology is because not only is it filtering stuff out and it's alkalizing the water, but this ionization and microclustering benefit is so huge for cellular hydration, which has an effect on almost every major system in your body. Amazing. I was just going to ask you, I'm like, so without getting into it again, like in detail, what, what, like in your experience, how many symptoms or things do you think are associated with chronic dehydration? Like in that you see, and you just said almost, every, like yeah, almost everything. so much because your brain relies on it. So when you're dehydrated, you're more tired. You're not as clear. It's harder for people to think and process things. You can get headaches and you can get tension and pain. The discs of your spine are made up mostly of water. So a lot of people who have dehydration will have chronic back problems. You know, we deal with a lot of this disc damage, arthritis, joint degeneration. If you're not getting in hydration, your joints are going to break down because they don't have the nutrition that they need. Also, it creates a problem with toxicity because the toxins in your cell aren't able to move out because of dehydration. And a lot of times nutrition can't get in. So it can affect digestion. It can affect how your body takes on toxins. That's why there's a lot of research that shows people once they start drinking the Kangen water, well, their digestion clears up. You know, there's stories of people improving their cancer and improving other chronic health conditions because of this. It's not because this treats anything like that. It's because it helps your body work better. It helps clear those toxins out. It helps improve those systems. It hydrates those areas. Also in digestion, digestion requires water for things to be able to move. You actually absorb a lot of that water into your large intestine. So if you're not getting the right type of stuff, well, now your digestion is not working right. Now you're not getting the absorption of nutrients that you need. Now you're creating inflammatory pathways and digestive disorders, which affects your immune system and affects your mood and it affects inflammation. I mean, there's so much stuff that goes on. So it's hard to say, well, it specifically helps with this thing because really better hydration helps with just about everything. Amazing. And I was just thinking about how much of your life and how many of your words and how much of your wisdom is actually spent trying to in encourage people to invest in their health, right? It's not, it's often something that when, when people are sickly, they really value kind of getting back to kind of a healthy state, but it takes so much more effort to get to that than just kind of investing in your health and keeping things, you know, moving along pun intended when it comes to water and hydration. 
Absolutely. The best investment you could ever make is in yourself. People are always talking about how well it's expensive to be healthy or I can't afford to do that. When the truth of the matter is, it's the exact opposite, right? You can't afford to not be healthy because the biggest cost we have in our society, especially is medical costs. Mm -hmm. If you really look at it, the average family spends over $8,000 a year and that's going up per person. And the average retired couple spends over $250,000 a piece just for medical bills. Mm -hmm. The number one cause of bankruptcy every year is medical bills. Mm -hmm. And these people have insurance. These aren't the underinsured people. You know, this isn't the person you would think of. It's the average person. It's you, it's your aunt, it's your next door neighbor that has a major health condition that comes up, right? And it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. And even if you have insurance, that costs money. So when you're talking about spending a couple thousand dollars, for yourself to improve your health. Well, that's priceless, right? What is quality of and life? You even say that you've had this for, you want to do? Sorry to interrupt there. Absolutely. And you even said that you've had this for like eight years. A lot of these machines will last 20 to 25 years in someone's oh. home. So even that investment over the long haul is just like, and I, so often we'll want, we want to feel better now. And what's so great is about what you shared is that you just even said within 60 seconds, I've absolutely noticed a difference, but just being able to, what wouldn't you pay to, for a general feeling of well being, for energy, for to feel vibrant and vita have vitality, right? It's just an amazing, amazing investment of which we appreciate you and your investment of time today. I know you were specifically tight on that. Um, and thank you for just, um, not just with, with your wisdom, but also what a great um, advocate of uh, the machine, the science, the technology, the water, the health benefits, but coming from um, a guy like you, we so much appreciate your time. Yeah, we'll you I go. think it's great technology and I recommend it to many of our patients and I recommend it to people who are looking to just invest in their health. And another thing that they can do to stack the deck in their favor so that they're preventing issues from coming up, especially nowadays when everyone's concerned about what do I do to not get sick or have issues? Well, take care of yourself, right? That's it. And this is a big component of that. So I really hope this helps people understand how this is benefiting them. And if there's any additional questions or anything, feel free to put that on the Facebook page. I'd be happy to respond or reach out to me and I'm here to help. Yeah, particularly underneath this group, you guys, in this Facebook group, underneath Dr. Tim's video that you'll have in there. If any questions, just put them in the comments. Dr. Tim's also in the group, so he'll be able to go back and we can uh, tag him in that and anything that you have. I do also love that you said that we're really clear to not that this machine, this science isn't the thing that you know treats or cures or mitigates anything, but it's our own body's capacity, our own body's healing capacity, right? To self-heal mechanism if we let get things out of the way and or and more importantly give it the essential foundational things that it needs to do what it does best 100 percent. amazing well we'll let you go i'll let you go here and i'll just finish up here on the live so okay thanks, well thank you so much for your time glad Absolutely. i could be help and like i said any questions i'm happy to to answer and and clear that up as much as possible amazing Bye. All right. Thanks. Okay. For the rest of you guys that are just sticking around here for the last few minutes, I just wanted to share some things that I, um, about, about superior hydration. I love that this is like, you know, jam packed and, um, in, in a short period of time, you guys are able to get kind of some testimonials and from people that have a lot of wisdom and credentials in that. Um, when he was talking about, um, just to, to maybe clear up the ORP, tomorrow, maybe this is just a lead in for tomorrow. Tomorrow, it, all these date yesterday's talk um, and today about um, micro clustering um, is tomorrow's day kind of wraps it all together. So in that, and to give you guys a little bit of a teaser, Dr. Tim just mentioned something called ORP, which stands for oxidation reduction potential. And so we've all heard things like, um, so tomorrow they're going to talk about hydrogen rich and molecular hydrogen and antioxidants. And I think that uh, just for whoever this is good for, I feel like sometimes genius is our ability to make complicated things simple, not the other, other way around. And in simplicity, I want to share with you guys, maybe just a, a lead in for tomorrow, maybe a little bit of a kindergarten lesson on things about antioxidants and why you might need them. The reason I say that is because oftentimes we really don't tend to care about things until we feel like there's a problem, right? We, as much as I want to believe you guys care about us, care about our businesses, care about these machines, more often than not, we don't. What we care about is our problems. And if we believe that we love education, but more importantly, if that education can solve a problem that we have, then how exciting is that? And so for oftentimes, if I were to say, how many of you, first of all, if I were to ask people, how many of you believe that water is life, 
right? Water is life. Almost every hand goes up, right? It's why they even search space, any planet, they won't even land on or look at if there's no water source there because they know that things can't survive. And so I'll say, how many of you believe water is life? Everyone's hands go up. Yeah, it's pretty dang important. And yet we spend no time really analyzing it, looking at it, wondering what kind of water we're drinking, assuming that all water is equal, but it couldn't be more different than, you know, why there's Mont Blanc pans or Bix or there's Porsches and Pintos. All things are not created equal and that includes our water. And you can see a world of difference if you can just be open to learning something new. But the problem that, that this part of this water solves is not just hydration. Chronic dehydration is a massive issue and it shows up in different ways. Um, some of them will be like low energy, constipation, digestive disorders, skin conditions. Um, obesity is even linked with chronic dehydration. And so the problem is we need, if dehydration is a problem, how do we hydrate? And here's the other issue. So many of our degenerative diseases nowadays are, are linked to chronic inflammation and oxidative stress, free radicals. And so if I were to ask any of you, how many of you have heard of something called a free radical, almost every hand goes up. But if you ask people to explain that, it's like crickets. Same goes with antioxidants. How many of you heard of antioxidants and how good they are for your body and blueberries and fruit and the foods that we eat and supplements that we take? But if I were, so I'll say how important are antioxidants, every hand goes up. If you were able to explain an antioxidant, what does that look like? And so because I know that a lot of us wouldn't, I'm going to give you a kindergarten lesson here. My daughter and I, when it was, when the pandemic hit last year and we were homeschooling, um, I have two nutrition certifications. I'm an integrative life and wellness coach. I have exercise physiology. I'm a lifelong athlete and health advocate. So we were going to do a little lesson on a Facebook live. And so my little daughter loves to draw. And so we did a little kindergarten lesson on this. We had lots more, but I'm hoping that this will just lead into tomorrow for you guys and understanding this, the problem that this water can solve for you for longevity and long-term health and short-term everything, energy, wellness. Um, but this is basically what our cells are made up. When we, when we talk about cells, our cells are made up of atoms. Atoms are basically the irreducible, right? It's like anything less than atoms becomes subatomic. But at, this is what an atom looks like. And in its healthiest form, an atom has two electrons, right? That balance each other out. When one of those electrons goes missing or gets knocked off, and there's lots of reasons for that, particularly toxins and exposure, environmental toxins and even negative thoughts and stress and all that stuff. But when that happens, it loses that same atom loses an electron and it becomes a free radical. Look how cute. I told her to make the free radical look dangerous and she did a skull and crossbones. So that's what a free radical looks like. And it causes all sorts of damage to all of its surrounding uh, cells trying to neutralize itself. Um, and so when people say what causes free radicals, I'm like, well, let me count the ways, right? Toxins, but it's everywhere. You guys, we live in the most toxic environment ever with pesticides, herbicides, plastics, um, stress, BPAs, preservatives, x-rays, fragrances, gases, you name it, right? It's everywhere. And so, but this is what's really cool as we hear the term antioxidant, but if you were to, because we're visual, most of us, if I say the word apple, you don't see a P P L E you see an apple. We're visual people. And so I want you to forever see the difference so that this is burned in your mind, but the same, an antioxidant under the same microscope that we know what an atom and a free radical looks like an antioxidant looks like this. And it has miraculously, it has six electrons around the circle. And those electrons are, they are self-sacrificing. They are designed just to give, to neutralize all those free radicals that they find. And so the key at any given time would be have more antioxidants available than free radicals uh, in our bodies. And so this is it, right? An atom, that's a cell. This is a free radical and an antioxidant solves, solves that problem. Um, and so tomorrow they're going to talk about um, that, that molecular hydrogen and the antioxidant water. And so when Dr. Tim talked about ORPs, that oxidation reduction potential, they're going to show you, not just tell you, they're going to show you so you can see it, uh, how powerful this water, water is without having to eat more blueberries or eat more food, how the water you drink can, can really help with this oxidation um, and and you know, and obviously hydration. And the main thing for us is this is probably one of my favorite slides that I've ever had. I made my daughter draw, draw it. There is, this is kind of a graph of wellness, right? There's death, there's chronic disease, there's, there's commonly sick and, you know, occasionally sick. And then there's not sick, right? 
But then there is a huge gap between not sick and optimal health. And so many of us, just because we're feeling like not sick necessarily, that we don't know that there's, there's, there's a whole world out there of a different level of health, vitality, vibrance, abundance in our health. And so tomorrow you're going to hear about those things. So stay tuned uh, for the last and final day to wrap it all together. I appreciate your time. And we are right on time. Hopefully this is a, a, a jam-packed little session for you. Uh, for those that are watching, again, not live, but coming in, please let us know your biggest takeaways from today. Um, give Dr. Tim a thanks. He really is a really busy guy and his wisdom and expertise is, uh, is greatly sought after. So we appreciate his time today. Again, thank you for all of you who just want to learn, right? To just the next level expansion of ourselves and in, in both our, our, our health and education and knowledge. I appreciate you and your time. And for those that put this little group and workshop together just for you. Uh, with that, we will see you tomorrow, same time, same place. And we bid you adieu. Bye.